Measuring 34 feet tall, the statue of Don Juan de Oñate atop a rearing horse in front of the El Paso International Airport is the largest equestrian statue in the world. It was erected in 2007 and was a major source of controversy at the time. The sculptor that proposed the statue intended to showcase some of El Paso's rich history. From inception to its unveiling, a group of Acoma Indians protested the statue, but eventually an embattled city council would approve it. The group of Acoma Indians regarded the Oñate statue as an insult. They viewed the treatment of Acoma Indians under Oñate's rule as sufficient reason to block the construction of the statue. The subject of the statue caused such controversy that the plaque mounted on the statue doesn't identify the horseman as Oñate. Now the nameless writer is known only as the Equestrian. We are in favor of public art because it enhances our cities and enriches our lives. We would like to see a plaque displayed with art that represents history in any way in order to inform the audience. We would prefer that the information provided within the plaque was objective and complete so not to whitewash our history. The statue wasn't conceived as a means to disrespect the Acoma or Native Americans, nor was it designed in a way to insult. The statue simply portrays the moment when Oñate crossed the Rio Grande and first set eyes on the place that would one day be the city of El Paso. Don Juan de Oñate risked his life and his fortune in his attempt at greatness, and as Americans that is something we can identify with. History is important, and it's important to remember El Paso's roots no matter what they are. While we don't condone Oñate's treatment of the Okoma Indians, we don't want Oñate to be forgotten either. We believe there is room for Oñate in El Paso's history, deeds and misdeeds alike. We encourage you to stay informed about your city's public art program. We want you to advocate for art that is honest and representative of your culture and locale. If you have input, contact the administrators of your public art program, attend city council hearings, and petition for art that enhances your city. A film project on Don Juan de Oñate, and I want to thank you for doing this interview. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Carlos Fuentes, and I attend the University of Texas at Dallas. Okay, first question. Have you seen the Don Juan de Oñate statue by the El Paso Airport? I saw it on a picture, and it looks pretty majestic, like something out of a medieval sword slashing game that I would probably play, and I think it looks pretty cool. Okay. So, you would consider yourself a fan of the statue? Yeah, pretty much. As best as you can, describe what Oñate is known for. From what I read, it was uh, the discovery of El Paso and uh, some part um, near the border called El Norte, Del Norte, something like that. And uh, also the slaughter of a couple thousand natives. That's pretty much it. Okay. Are you offended, or do you disagree with the statue being put up of Don Juan de Oñate? Uh, since I was not slaughtered by him, or personally know anyone that he slaughtered or was affected by any of this, I don't really mind either way. So, we're in the same group, and we're doing our film project on Don Juan de Oñate. Uh -huh. And I would like to interview you, because your last name happens to be Oñate. Correct. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, um, I'm Fernando Oñate, and uh, I happen to have the same last name as Don Juan Oñate, and I may be related to him, or closely related to him, and um, I'm happy to be with, here with you. Okay, first question. Have you seen the Don Juan de Oñate statue by the El Paso Airport? Of course I have. Are you a fan of the statue? What is your opinion on it? It, looks, it, it does look quite mighty, if you ask me. He has a really big representation of that conquistador who is being called technically like the last conquistador. And uh, he did discover El Paso del Norte, which kind of does represent the mightiness of the statue. Well, since you feel that way, are you offended or do you disagree with the statue being put up? 
No, of course not. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I mean, it's not representing the bad things that he did, right? It's not showing anything bad related to what he did with the Pueblo people. I think it represents more of what he did as he founded El Paso, as the Norte. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm starting because I'm, I mean, 